guys welcome back okay so same clothes KK here <laughs> if you watched my recap for my last shot my stash where I just kind of went through everything that I used and talked about my feelings and thoughts about those products then you know this is the same day same clothes same hair and makeup okay I what I did was I wanted to do it a little bit different today for my shot my stash because I mean, I can be a little long-winded and sometimes it's hard for me to pick and choose and decide exactly what it is I want to use for the upcoming week. So what I did was I went ahead and chose <laughs> my items already and I'm just going to run through with you guys the items that I picked and you know, that's about it. Get started for the upcoming week with these products. So let's go ahead and start out with some skincare items that I did choose from my collection. I chose this Kate Somerville Bio Mimicking Peptides Serum. And this is what it looks like. I know that I got this in one of my monthly subscription boxes because I did not purchase this. But I have had this for a little while and have really been wanting to try it. It just has the, you know, little dropper. Mm, it doesn't have a pleasant smell to it, but it doesn't really smell like much. It's not a nasty smell or anything. But I've been wanting to try this out. It says that it smooths and firms. So, okay, we can all use a little smoothing and firming. So I'm going to try this out for a little while and see if I like it. I also picked an e.l.f. moisturizer. I wanted to go ahead and use one of their moisturizers for a little while. This is the e.l.f. Hello Hydration Face Cream. So I will be using this. And let me just show you what this one looks like. Oh, well, I guess I like this one. <laughs> I knew I hadn't used it for a while, but shoot, this mug is almost gone. So yeah, I might end up finishing this, this go round, but yeah i like this stuff okay for primer i chose a couple of primers i picked out this elf blurring primer serum so this one here it can be you know used for dual purposes because it is a priming serum so on those days when i just want to go in with this i can and I know I've used this before. It's probably about two thirds left in here, but it does have a dropper and it's kind of like a, a little bit of a, you know, thick white consistency. So I don't know if you can see that, but I've used this before and I actually like this a lot. So I'm going to get reacquainted with this one. The other primer that I chose is this Tarte double duty beauty primer i got this in my boxy charm i believe and i this is a tart base tape and it says on here the double duty beauty but i was kind of like holding off on opening and using this because i believe it does have a short expiration date or a short shelf life at least i heard somebody say that i don't see anything on here but Anywho, I'm going to try this out and see how it goes. Let me see. Um, that's what it looks like. So it's kind of like, you know, looks just like it does in the bottle. Ooh, it smells like coconut. I didn't know it was going to smell like coconut. Okay. Yeah, that smells nice. But yeah, so it's soaking into my skin really nicely. So it feels like it would be you know kind of like a nice moisturizing primer so i'm here for it okay so for my eyeshadow primers i did choose two eyeshadow primers to play with this one is the elf putty eye primer i've never tried this one i did pick this up i believe it's supposed to be kind of comparable to the mac paint pot and it actually really looks a lot like it so this is what it looks like you know it looks like it kind of has like that thick um creamy consistency where you lay it down and it kind of dries down if it is like the paint pot then <laughs> this will be a great dupe because it's a whole lot cheaper i also picked out this no budge eyeshadow primer from profusion i have never tried any type of primers eyeshadow primers or anything like that from profusion so it comes in this little tube i don't know if i've even opened it or Okay, so let's take a look. Ooh, okay. So it is thick. And let's just see. 
Oh, it's kind of liquidy, a little creamy. Let me see how it dries down. Yeah, it's, ooh, okay, yeah. <laughs> this is a wet one, so what I'm gonna do, yeah, you can see it's a wet one. I don't know if I'm gonna like that. I don't really like wet eyeshadow primers, but I'm gonna leave it on my hand and see how it dries down. But already it's taking too long to dry down because I'd be ready to put on my eyeshadow by now. <laughs> So I might have to set this with a translucent powder, but yeah, so far, not really feeling it. It's a little bit too wet for my liking, but I'm gonna try it out. Okay, so for concealer, I did pick one that I have been using quite a bit lately. This is my NYX HD Photo, what is it? Studio Photogenic <laughs> Concealer. And I did go ahead and pull this because I actually really like using this just to cover my dark circles under my eyes and discoloration around my mouth. So it works really nice for that underneath my foundation. So I'm keeping that in my shop, my stash. Um, I also pulled my NYX Born to Glow concealer. I have not used this concealer in quite a while. This is a radiant concealer. So, you know, it's not mattifying or drying or anything like that. And I actually do like a radiant concealer every now and then. It kind of depends on what mood I'm in. But yeah, this is the Born to Glow. I did pick up two different shades. I think this is the darker one that I chose. This is Warm Caramel. So I'm going to play around with this. I also picked out my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Um, This is the hydrating one, of course. And I have the shade Deep Cinnamon. Same shade that I choose in the regular camel concealer, the one that's more dry and mattifying. But yeah, I kind of feel like going with the more hydrating concealers um, this week just to kind of see what's going on. So yeah, I have my e.l.f. Hydrating Camel Concealer. Now I did choose two foundations that I haven't used in quite a while, but I also want to try something else that I know some people do. You know, it's spring, summertime, and even though I'm stuck in the house, you know, I kind of want to play around with this and see how I like it. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glotion. And I've had this for quite a while. This one is in Deep Glow. And I want to try using a little bit of this underneath my foundation just to kind of try and give me that illuminated, healthy glow from within, you know, underneath my foundation. I'm typically not into this kind of stuff, but I want to try it out. Okay, so this is how that eyeshadow primer is looking now, the Profusion one, just FYI. So it does dry down, but it took a little while to dry down. I don't know how I feel about that, but it looks like a pretty nice eyeshadow base now, but maybe I just put too much on and that's why it was so wet and it took so long to dry. But anyway, we'll see when I use it. So let me go ahead and show you this L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. So this is what it looks like. And I mean, yeah, you really don't need a lot because <laughs> it does kind of stretch out. But as I see how as I blend it in, it just kind of looks like a sheen, like a nice light little glow. So I'm wondering if I try this out underneath my foundation, if it'll feel too heavy or if it'll just kind of give me a nice, you know, glow from within. So I want to play around with some of this this week and see how I like it. Cause I did, I bought it a long time ago. I got this big old tube, you know, and I haven't been on vacation or on a cruise or to the tropics or anything like that. So we gonna use this stuff at home. Okay. Let's <laughs> see how it works. Okay, so for foundation, I did go ahead and grab my ABH or Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. Have not used this in quite a while, but I really, really like this foundation. And the fun thing, you guys, about, you know, pulling these different foundations and just trying them out over and over again um, is I'm kind of getting to see which ones that I bought during my summer more dark and cocoalicious months and then the ones that I bought in the winter which are lighter months you know so it's kind of like okay yeah that's a summer shade or that's a winter shade because honey I have all kind of shades of foundation 
but in this one I have 490W and this one is actually a pretty good match for me so yeah we're gonna go ahead and play with the ABH foundation I also pulled my Stay Naked. This is the Urban Decay Weightless Liquid Foundation. I got this with my girl DJ when we were shopping and just kind of, you know, wanting to try out some new stuff. And that that's when this foundation dropped, like last summer. And so I haven't used it that much since then. So I want to kind of play around with this. What shade do I have? I have 71WY. 71WY and yeah i want to see i think i liked it at the time but it didn't have enough coverage for me if i'm remembering correctly so we gonna find out now for powder <laughs> you guys know how hard it was for me to put away my becca hydra mist powder okay i was like man i just want to keep that in my stash forever but no i'm gonna use something else so some of my other products can get some love this one is the beauty bakery flower better not bitter powder and what shade do i have almond okay so i have almond i don't know if you can see that it looks like a really nice shade i know i have used this before and i believe i did like it i don't know if i was head over heels um over it but i think i did like it it looks fine enough so yeah i'm gonna play around with this this kind of looks like more of a all over face shade so if i don't feel like this is light enough under my eyes then i will pull something lighter to play with to set my face i'm going to be pulling my Too Faced born this way multi-use complexion powder i know i love this stuff but haven't used it in a while of course <laughs> you can see your girl has hit pan on this so yeah i definitely love this stuff i should have picked did i pick up a backup i did pick up a backup okay so i'm good <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and use some more of this now this is something new that i picked up and i wasn't sure exactly how i was gonna try to use this it's a finishing powder from physicians formula it's called natural defense if you can see that through the bubble but yeah it's a finishing powder i don't typically purchase a lot of things from physicians formula but when I saw that they had this shade, I was like, okay, they're trying to get a little Coco-licious, okay? So I decided to go ahead and grab it and check it out. So I did pick this up maybe a couple of months ago and have not used it yet. So I'm going to try this out as a finishing powder and see how it works. Now for mascara, I grabbed my LA Girl Volumatic Mascara. Um, I used this not too long ago i actually really do like the wand it's the prickly kind and it has kind of like um you know a more pointed shape on the tip i i like this mascara i really do so i decided to go ahead and pull this again and you know let it do what it do now although i was able to pull those items and you know figure that out off camera <laughs> i was not able to decide on the rest of my face products you know my blush my highlighter my bronzer because i have some new items that i either bought or was given to me so i kind of want to decide on those with you guys now these two items here that i purchased the new fenty cream bronzer and cream blush i did use this in a video and i'm pretty sure I'm not sure if that video is going to be up before this one or not, but um, yeah, I did try these out. So look out for that video to hear my thoughts on these. So I don't think I'm going to pull those just because I want to try something else. Now, oh my gosh, you guys, look, I have got like some new bronzers. These bronzers are from Revolution, okay? I really don't buy a lot of face products or anything like that from Revolution. It's usually just their kind of iffy uh, hit or miss palettes. <laughs> so, or occasional skincare. But they came out with some new bronzers, y'all. Okay, so I really want to try these out. These say glow. It says Revolution Glow Splendor 
ultra matte bronzers okay so i picked out two shades because one looked like it would be a nice little contour and the other one looked like a nice bronzer now this one is the shade dark i think this is the one that i picked to use as a contour and these little compacts have mirrors really pretty kind of like gold rose gold type packaging but this one is the shade dark yeah dark and as you can see it is dark and i think that this will make a nice contour for me i don't know let me go ahead and swatch it right quick okay so let's see Ooh. okay okay revolution okay all right all right i'm not mad at you okay so I kind of want to try these, you guys, like see what they look like on my face. And this one here is the shade Deep. So let me go ahead and check this one out. Oh no, this one is even darker. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is the shade Deep. Whoa, I thought this was the lighter one. I thought the other one was... Ugh listen it is so nice to have options that are this deep in this cocoalicious do you see that oh my goodness honey chow listen i might be pulling a, a few bronzes and blushes today okay because i'm definitely trying those on my face yo I love to see a nice deep bronzer. Okay, now I also got this palette from Alamar. This has been out for a while, but I just recently picked it up. So this is their face palette, which has um, cinnamon sugar, oi, morena, and golden hour. So yeah, this is their face palette. And I kind of want to try this out as well as far as like bronzer and contouring. Um... Yeah, so that's a maybe though. That's a maybe. I don't feel the same way about that as I do <laughs> about the Revolution ones. Now, this is the BH, one of their palettes that they came out with. And they came out with so many of these, I wasn't even sure which one to pick. The one I got is Chocolate Marshmallow Truffle. It's a four color blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I just, I thought these colors were so freaking pretty. So yeah, I definitely want to play around with this for some blush. Okay, so this is going to be a yes. Um, I also picked up some new palettes from LA Girl. They're not new, but they're new to me. Okay, so this one here is Island hot is this the island hottie yeah this is the island hottie blush palette and it's very very peachy as you can see it's very peachy licious <laughs> so these shades in here look very very light but it's kind of i don't know i don't know sometimes they look like they'll work and then other times it's like eh, we'll see so i kind of want to try this out just to see how this peachiness will look on my skin tone because i'm sure that it will show up i'm just not sure if it's gonna look ashy so that's a maybe um what else do i have for blush for blush i have this uh sephora palette this is one of their trio face palettes. Which one is this? Empower. So this is what it looks like. So it has a blush and highlighter in there. And I actually picked this up quite a little while ago because I thought it was so, so pretty and it was on sale, I believe. So I did kind of play around with the highlighter a little bit and the blush too, I think, but it's still so new to me. Not completely familiar with it, but this is a maybe as well. Also for blush, I have this Alamar Cosmetics palette. I was not blessed enough to receive the deep one in my BoxyCharm. I know a lot of people already got these palettes in their BoxyCharm, but I didn't. So I went ahead and grabbed this because these blush colors are, look at that so so gorgeous oh my gosh it's so pretty so this is a definite actually this is a definite um the alomar bronzer i think i might wait on that because those revolution ones are just calling my name 
And for highlighter, oh, I got one more palette. That's like a blush uh, face type palette. It's this Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush palette. I did pick this up. It was on sale during the Sephora uh, spring event. So I did go ahead and grab this. It was just so gorgeous. This one is the Citrus. So this one is the Citrus palette. And uh, yo, I just thought it was so gorgeous. I had to grab it so that I can play with it and learn how to make this work for me, honey, because this thing is so pretty. <laughs> so yeah, I did pick this up. It's so gorgeous. I want to play with it and see how this highlighter and blush will look on my skin, okay? So that is a yes. Okay, and for highlighter, I also picked up this LA Girl Moonlight Magic Highlighting Palette. They had a sale. Ulta had a sale, okay? It was a buy one, get one half off. So when I bought the blush palette, yeah, the blush palette, I picked up this highlighter palette as well just to see what's happening. So this is what the highlighter palette looks like. And this is called Moonlight Magic. And then I also got <laughs> sent to me a gift from my girl, Lily. She sent me this Marc Jacobs Omega Glaze All Over Foil Luminizer. Okay. I, I was like, I don't have anything from Marc Jacobs. I need to buy something from Marc Jacobs. And she sent me this, okay? She said when she used it, she just knew that I had to have it, okay? So this is what it looks like. Super huge, okay? And let me open this up. So, so pretty. It has this nice little Marc Jacobs cover for the highlighter. Huge mirror in here, as you can see. But this is what it looks like. And part of me is like, you know what? Don't even use that, okay? It's too pretty. Don't use it, but I'm trying not to do that. <laughs> I'm trying to actually use my beautiful makeup. So I think I'm going to go ahead and play with this. So I got my bronzer and my contour. I have my Natasha Denona blush and highlight palette. I have my Marc Jacobs highlighter and I have my Alamar and my BH Cosmetics blush palettes to play with. So I think that is a nice selection of face products to play with during my uh, next couple of weeks. Oh, and for setting spray, I picked out this NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh Spray. I've never tried it before. Um, so I decided, let me go ahead and try this out. It says that it has up to eight hour wear so we will see okay so yeah that's it so that's it you guys for my shop my stash for the next couple of weeks just wanted to share with you guys what i pulled maybe you saw some things that you like or you're interested in or maybe you just want to find out my thoughts but anyways that's it you guys thanks so much for hanging out and i will see you on the next one toodles